Good day, fellas. I hope you are ready for your daily dose of skill. Today, I have a treat prepared for you. While everyone is talking about the future or of the world of tanks, why wouldn't we talk about the past? I know, hear me out, that sounds weird, but I'm curious how game changed from 2020 to 2022. Is the game going to the good direction looking into the patches overall or the game is going into the shithole and bless our souls we cannot do anything and we are sink we are running from the sinking ship as rats. Well, okay, that was way too colorful. You get the point what I'm saying. Is World of Tanks going to the right direction in the past three years or not so much? How about that? So I managed to find the page where I can check out um, all patches which were gaming had, they have a history since 2014, but we are not going to go that far away, we are going to see everything from 2020. So, how about if we will start our journey now? And everything starts with update 1.7.1, which was in January 2020. Pretty much, what do we have over there? We have a demounting kit being added. So pretty much the thing which is 10 gold each and now it became a meme whenever our gaming is doing loot boxes or whatnot to fulfill uh, them with demounting kits. Quite a good one. Uh, some map changes, nothing unusual here. Uh, other changes for Team Clash when Grand Battles will be disabled. Fellas, I must admit one thing, I missed Team Clash so much in 2022, it would have been very very nice and uh, we would have a nice event as usual. After that for super test players, they have Char Futur to test and Budget Borat. Fellas, 2020, it was pretty much 3 years ago. Can you imagine Borat in the game is only 3 years or Char Futur? absolutely madness fellas plus on top of that looks like we are getting uh, um the double penetrator line is2 is3 2 and uh, st2 and in the same time bar gaming is uh, adding new tank for super testers to test object uh 752 which by the way i do not know so it's not in the game yet and pretty much that's it for this patch so nothing too crazy but good to look at. Next we have a patch in February 2020. What do we have? Uh, daily and premium missions. Do you remember when they added this? It was three years ago. Absolutely madness. Changes in session statistics. Uh, probably most of the people are using it to check out how win ratio was looking like and how overall session uh, was treating you. After that, there was some technical changes. For example, added the following vehicle to test by the super testers UDES 03. Wait a second. I don't even know this tank. I don't really think it is a tier 8 UDES. Just saying. After that, uh, super testers, we are testing IS-2 shielded, which is kind of a pile of caco. And that's about it. Nothing, nothing too crazy happening so far. Pretty much the main thing was to sell more premium account for a daily missions in this patch. At least uh, it looks like this. That's about it. Okay, I'm not going to go to the um, through the fixes and improvements and own issues. Um, it is just not what we are going to do because the video would take three hours to uh, go through. So I don't really think we should do that. We are just focusing on the main things, what we're gaming is adding and what we're gaming is testing. And then we have update 1.9, Aka on April. Very big uh, uh, update overall, at least by the looks of it. So what happened? Happened. The tech tree changed and from that moment we started having collector vehicles. I, do you remember when the random tanks were uh, in the random places in the tech tree? So they fixed that, right? reworked, reworked tech tree, added collector vehicles and HP adjustment. And now looking into all of this fellas, going through the patch notes, they improved boot camp, uh, some movement physics, some interface, 
And after that, just look at this patch, how much work there is. By the way, they added a uh, 46 for super testers to test. And now look at this patch. What they have done there, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, is they changed the hit points of the tanks. And they buffed, they nerfed, they added more ammunition. They did many, many things over there in this patch. And to be fair with you, uh, it was a good change. Lower tiers became a bit beginner friendly. Let's say from having 500 or 600 hit points, they buffed hit points up to 800 for a heavy tanks or something like this. And they did a humongous change over there, right? So that is very, very nice to remember. And as you can see, that is a lot of work to do, fellas. We can only imagine how much work there was into this patch, fellas. And I can scroll like this for a very, very long time. Obviously, we won't go through all changes, but um, a lot of things was changed. Very, very good patch overall. Looking into all of this, hit points both definitely saved the game for the time being, I would say. Next update after that, we had an update on June. Pretty much they added Battle Pass Season 2. Yeah, that was some time ago. They added Berlin map. Um, they allowed you to customize your vehicles with, uh, with the emblems which you are getting for kills and whatnot. Uh, and uh, for getting aces and so on, so on, which I think was pretty damn bad idea because people do not really use it, at least in the randoms. I do not see uh, people wearing them very, very often. And after that, some more styles. So looking into the patch notes, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, once again, vehicle customization, nothing too crazy. Uh, new adjustable style. Once again, this is the same thing. Uh, from the maps, they added Berlin. And by the way, Berlin was better before than it is now in my humble opinion Aka, when they just freshly added it after that obviously battle pass uh, and that's about it not so big of the patch apart uh, um, they added Lorraine 50T for pretty much uh, uh, I assume for testing or just added into the game um, because Lorraine uh, appeared uh, pretty much this year and this is in 2020 keep this in mind plus on top of that uh, added some tanks to test for super testers like Valiant quite funny don't you think so and all and all obviously a lot of buffs a lot of nerfs and so on so on nothing too crazy but this patch is not looking that big because main thing pretty much uh, you got battle pass that's about it we have a big one here update 1.10 on august so where gaming added equipment 2.2 they did some changes on the maps plus added pearl river a new battle communication system where people just do not care too much and bond mechanics changes so pretty much looking into all of this fellas what we can see equipment 2.0 was a big one and i think that was successful patch at least in my humble opinion after that we have a new branch added into the game which is polish medium tanks oh cs 63 you costed me nerves i believe even to this day cs 53 when people are grinding through their tank they hate it just as much as i did um, obviously, Polish tanks has new mechanics, so obviously that was added as well. Balance changes to the vehicle vehicles, if I'm not mistaken. High, uh, how the things we are looking like, they... They pretty much nerfed damage the wheel, which is smart. Uh, bond mechanics, pretty much you can make bonds now with a tier 10 tanks or to the tier 9, with a tier 9 special vehicles, nothing too crazy. Balance changes on some maps, that's okay. New uh, communication system, that is all right as well. Uh, Steel Hunter, nothing too crazy. Um, and all and all, fellas, if you would pay attention over there, this is a lot of changes to the tanks overall and right? i they buffed they nerfed for example this is the patch when they buffed tiger one when they buffed tiger two when they move buffed e75 and e100 and most importantly for italian lovers uh they nerfed pretty much every single italian uh premium tank uh, italian tank 
apart premium one. Premium one, how, how what happened to the premium tank? Pretty much, um, they haven't done anything to it, if I am not mistaken, right? This is a buff. And they are not saying that in this patch. They are just saying, yeah, we changed the times for auto loading shells, but pretty much Progetto got a rammer installed into the tank without even having rammer. You get the point what I'm saying. After that, the this was added into the test super test or maybe cs52 maybe a bit different tank because i cannot see this over there and a bunch of other tanks was changed boys and girls ladies and gentlemen crazy absolutely crazy okay let's go for a last patch of 2020 so far honestly looking into all of this what we have seen uh obviously there is a lot of rebel and changes where we did not went from tank to tank but uh, other than that it is not that impressive what happened for a game in 2020 to be fair with you and last but not least or maybe the least update 1.11 they added holiday opts, so pretty much loot boxes, and new vehicle, Panzer, Cephale 1C, German tier 4 tank destroyer as a free tank or maybe in the loot boxes or something. And looking into the release notes, what they have done, they added 112 TM for super testers to test it out, and that's it. Nice patch, mate. Nice patch. So looking into all of this fellas, 2020 was a dry year overall apart some buffs and some nerfs and some maps returning into the game, right? Let's see what 2021 will bring for us and what World of Tanks has done in the 2021. So looking into all of this, they added Platoon 2.0. Uh, to be fair with you, nothing changed too much, at least in my humble opinion. They changed some client modifications. They added new tech tree Italians. Uh, to be fair with you, I lately fell in love with Rhino. And I started enjoying this vehicle, although it's not the best tank in the world of tanks and dog tanks. Which is not so um, impressive and there is nothing too crazy, right? So... Once again, Platoon, nothing uh, nothing too useful, I don't really think uh, people are joining the random Platoons. I mean, honestly, from the people I know, no one is talking about this as extra innovative feature and they could not live uh, uh, without it. That's what I'm trying to say, so nothing too crazy. Uh, Obviously, Rhino line, that was uh, a good update. Obviously, I do not see anything bad about the new tanks added into the game, so we cannot complain about this. And after that, we have some rebalance changes and added things for a super test players, which is uh, a German CDC. Oh, such a beautiful tank. They tested it for sure. Well, this is a tank for extremely good players, right? And Kunze Panzer. After that, they did some... Uh, changes as well uh, actually no no changes for a tanks whatsoever only added charlie magna for a super test players that's it that's it for a patch well new line it is a lot of content uh we need to we need to keep this in mind so first patch of 2021 it is okay i would say Next update was in March of 2021, pretty much Steel Hunter added ranked battles announcement for the last season, battle pass, new one, um, after that changes for universal and national fragments, uh, track visualization, um, and added some uh, popular mods into the game. Let's dig deeper. Steel Hunter, nothing unusual. Uh, most of the people do not like it though. Uh, obviously new tanks added there, ranked battles last season, hip hip hooray, battle pass 2021, blueprints. After that, what they have added from the mods out of curiosity. Look at this, uh, fellas. They added hit points of each team. Very important thing and I would highly recommend to use it. Uh, markers. 
now can be grouped by the tier. Uh, I don't really think it is that important, but uh, it is fine. Special icons we added for a player's list interface to indicate which vehicles have been spotted. Extremely good thing. Can you imagine we did not have this thing and this is like a recent update of 2021? That is absolutely amazing. Players will receive the result of the previous battle during the current one. So you are seeing you are losing or you are winning and the sold zoom. So you can pretty much zoom more out. Very, very nice. Plus some buffs, some changes on guard. Uh, guard got buffed. T22 medium got buffed. Uh, Suka Pershing got buffed, which is very, very nice. T34 got buffed. Star 2 got buffed. And Bizonte got buffed as well. Uh, or maybe nerfed. Who knows? Uh, improved gun depression angle, so pretty much uh, um, buffed gun depression through the rear. And super testers are testing the new toy Skoda, which we already have in the game. So looking into all of this, also not that um, crazy of the patch, apart couple of buffed tanks, honestly. Looks like another dry patch coming. Pretty much what happened, battle interface improvements, boot camp. Rewards for clan wars and matchmaking improvement. Well, this is a big one, but looking into the world of tanks in 2022, I do not know uh, anything about matchmaking receiving some kind of improvements, if you know what I mean. It happened on the April. Digging deeper, what do we have? We have battle interface improvement, it's okay, understood. Boot camp, so pretty much for a new players, rewards for a clan wars, fair enough. And pretty much some tanks um, like Anko got added, which is literally Panzer tier 5, right? Plus on top of that, for super testers, 114 SP got added, which was clan wars river tank. That's it, very dry patch. Extremely dry patch. When I'm looking at this from from the perspective of the future, right? Because we are looking into the past. I mean, not that much has been done, fellas. Don't you think so? Mm -hmm. I needed to talk. Update 1.13 on the June. Whew, look at this. What happened there? complex rework of high explosive shells fellas uh, with all honesty believe me or not but i think high explosive rework was positive for a game yes cover two for example got balls cut but in the same time it's so much easier to penetrate the tanks with the high explosives although if you are not penetrating you are not doing that much damage although one thing which we're gaming still haven't fixed yet Critical hits. With high explosives, if you are penetrating, you are not doing absolutely anything speaking about the critical hits. And if you are not penetrating, you are doing critical hits. Which makes no sense whatsoever, but it is how it is. After that, we have changes for Artas. Artas, balls has been cut. Absolutely amazing. After that, we have premium tanks and clan wars river tanks rebalancing interface improvements Minsk map rebalancing well Minsk is not in the game at this point change it to the blueprints fragments again recon mission which is absolutely amazing and ranked um, season okay let's dig deeper what do we have so I think honestly high explosive changes are pretty damn good although once again it is a humongous there for the lightly armored tanks like CDC and huge buff for a tanks which um, cannot be penetrated. And now Baza is saying hi. <laughs> yeah, I know. Don't don't say anything. So, high explosive changes, SPG nerfs, blueprints changes, a recon mission mode, which is very good because we're gaming actually knows. Uh, how people would play this game mode although what i would like to see mark of excellence not counted in this game mode so people can uh chill a bit if we can say so battle pass season uh five ranked battles by the way we haven't seen ranked battles in a while don't you think so battle five uh, battle uh, interface improvements map changes 
and a lot of a lot of tanks changes. Look at this. Obviously, mainly Arthas cover two. So many changes overall. That was a big load where gaming unloaded on us, fellas. I can tell you that. Looking into the changes, you know, it is looking like this. Where gaming is dry, 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 and in the middle of the summer, kaboom! They are showing um, a bit of the. Yep, we are working. Believe us, we are working. Meanwhile. Added to the super test Škoda T56. By the way, Škoda in the game looks like it is it is only a year. This is how long Škoda is in the game. I think it was in the loot boxes, if I'm not mistaken, of the uh, 2021, right? So yeah, quite a huge patch and I think it was good. Art nerf, high explosive nerf, I think most of the people would agree with me. Do you? Feel free to leave the comment down below. And the gaming do not stop. Uh, quite a big patch as well. Meanwhile, we have topography mode. I believe most of the people have no clue we have topography nowadays. Okay, it's not that useful for 20,000 credits to play it for 15 minutes or so. You know, for experienced players, it's not so good. For new players, that is a good thing. Field modification mechanic. Oy, 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 oy. Field modifications, fellas. Oy, oy. Yeah, by the way, if you are not grinding field mods, I would highly recommend to do so. It is one of the most important things which you should do and which you need to do. New Czechoslovakian heavy line added, save heaven map and changes to the personal uh, missions for SPGs because Arthas got nerfed and they needed to wait like two months or so in order to um, change everything. And now looking into the, all of this new mode, topography, Roger, that field modification, that was a huge one. And by the way, if you are struggling with the field modifications, index is always for you, fellas. We have done everything everything there, uh, just simply Google skill for L2 index. Um, after that, new branch, Vaza 55, you magnificent, beautiful mother trucker. Mm, such a beautiful patch looking into all of this. New frontline season, so nothing too crazy. Ranked battles, boot camp changes. And after that, buffing the tanks like Cover 5, IS-6, which is very nice, uh, Shovel Tank, and it's still underperforming, T-34, Patton KRT, 95 Echo 2, CDC got buffed. Can you imagine? CDC got buffed in 2021. Uh, do you see CDCs in the game nowadays? Only played by the sadomasochists in a way. So yeah, quite a bit of the buffs and quite a good changes in this patch overall. Well, I know some people do not like the um, uh, field modifications, but you know, you cannot please us all. It is impossible. After that, we have a patch on October. Not that good of the patch to be fair with you or nothing changed some adjustments for a field modification some characteristic of the vehicles changed and map changes right obviously it's hard to uh, describe everything by by looking into this so let's dig a bit deeper obviously map changes i have no clue what happened at the time field modification changes they fixed some bugs bugs which we had um Dildo tanks coming into the game, battle mode selector, new size for titles mode selector has been added. Okay, fair enough. Interface changes, fine. And now buffs. Type 59 got buff. Type, um, type T34. Um, type 58. All Chinese mediums got buffed. Chinese heavy tank got buffed. Some UK tanks got buffed. Uh, probably... Actually, only one gun got changed, so nothing too crazy. Speaking about USSR, we have new tanks added into the super test cover one shielded, which is a piece of caco, and object 590, which I have no clue what the tank is, and in the same time, it's not in the game yet. After that, obviously, they are testing Joch line overall, and they added Tornwagen, which was in the boxes of the 2020. <coughs> That's how I could describe this vehicle. And last but not least, patch for 2021. Well, I think this is the biggest patch for our gaming loot boxes. They probably send, uh, sold a lot of them, which, uh, which just simply makes sense. So, loot boxes, map changes, ranked battles, uh, and um, changes uh, for vehicles or something. So, 
looking into all of this, obviously most important change is the loot boxes. <laughs> That's all I can say. After that, obviously, map changes overall, some fixed things, ranked battles. Um, got uh, changes as well. By the way, ranked battles is not in the game anymore, so it's kind of a past. Movement mechanics got changed, right? Which is a good thing. And most importantly, fellas, they added a couple of tanks to test IMBT, which we already have in the game. And to be fair with you, I can't personally stand that vehicle. And we have Vaza 114, which is a tier 9 heavy tank, and it is a pile of crap as well. So speaking about the 2021-2021 was huge year for World of Tanks, I think... Uh, a lot of people would agree with me with high explosive changes. I know some people do not like that, but, you know, it was kind of silly when 60 TP can spank you in the face for four to 500, which is, you know, not so nice if I can say so. Um, and uh, high explosive shooting under the tank and you are losing 500 HP as well, which is kind of silly goose thing. Uh, in the same time, a lot of new things as an example, new equipment setup, absolutely madness and huge one. And to be fair with you, pre pretty good change probably for most of the players if you are using the new setup. After that, we had field modifications, which is very, very big change as well. And overall, I think 2021 was extremely good year for World of Tanks. So uh, that is a good thing. I wonder, would you agree with me or would you disagree with me? Let's check out 2022. And we started the new year with quite a dry patch, honestly. Only battle pass, some map changes, ranked battles. Uh, this is probably the last season of the ranked battles. And after that, new tank pretty much added for a super testers. Digging deeper, once again, map changes. Pretty much a lot of tank destroyer positions got removed, if I remember this correctly, in this uh, uh, patch overall. After that, battle pass. After that, pretty much all tanks got combined. Uh, T-40. 100 into T44 100i if I'm not mistaken and that's pretty much it also for a super testers testing uh, uh, key 2 got added and I do not know this tank to be fair with you and after that we have Shrek added and we have Shrek in the game already so nothing too crazy but keep this in mind we're gaming lost in 2022 we're gaming lost uh, extremely big part of the team right uh, we had a split up uh, from um, Wargaming Belarus, right? Uh, so, Rue server is not owned by Wargaming anymore. They're owned by, the, uh, by Tesla Games, Testa Games, something like this. So, yeah. Um, it, is, it is pretty much different team working on the game and uh, they're about to have the they're about to have the Flamethrower tanks. Which would be interesting so to see and to test to be fair with you. Tanks who can stun you while throwing fire. Next patch on April. Art of Strategy got added into the game, a mode where people did not give too much shit to be fair with you. Vehicle outlining, which is extremely strong thing, I would highly recommend to have a proper outlining, although there is plenty of bugs, especially um, in some maps, it is absolutely disgusting. Frontline. I don't really follow Frontline too much because I just hate that game mode. Map changes um, overall happened on the April. Um, after that, we have some technical characteristic changes and customization of the elements. So looking into all of this and digging a bit deeper, what do we have? Vehicle outlining, one of the better things what we're gaming did. More tanks in the trading. That's good. Art of strategy. No one care to be fair with you. Uh, front line uh, changes as well, that's okay. Changes for a map rooster for a new players. Pretty much uh, new players are getting only 14 maps until they will get a bit stronger and better, that's okay. Some high explosive change, but this is, um, this is pretty much um, just... Um, visual stuff so nothing changes too much after that we had a map changes as well uh, so nothing too crazy 
and after that we have a tank added to the um, we have a tank added for a two super testers object 259A once again not in the game yet who knows when we're gaming is going to bring it another dry patch I would say on the May we have steel hunter so we had it before we have stronghold so pretty much uh, some reserves we are at night I think uh, from that moment you could craft the strong the reserves slower if I'm not mistaken um, which is quite a disappointment in my opinion because some pl clans if you have if you do not have the reserves crafted up front in a day you can craft only three nowadays if I'm not mistaken uh, recon mission added this is a very good stuff to allow players to actually test the new maps this is absolutely amazing and changes to the um, chieftain prototype and ts54 aka they were added into the super test and we have the chieftain already and ts54 is asia server exclusive so far digging deeper steel hunter nothing too crazy we have a new tanks which once again not i personally do not really play steel hunter i just do not really care about this too much so yeah pretty dry patch overall recon missions battle pass season added matchmaker decreased new players queue time to enter the battle so pretty much if i'm not mistaken you can meet bots in the lower tiers aka uh, tier one tier two uh, you can fight against actual bots uh, probably this is the strange uh, this is the change which they have done after that they added Uderni into the list and I have seen lately people playing with this tank so there is a chance super testers have this vehicle although we don't TS-54 uh, added to the super for super testers to play and Chieftain prototype is already in the game so pretty dry patch overall another very very dry patch frontline changes by the way some people are calling it bug line uh, some changes for european miniors uh, minors that's what i supposed to say um pretty much some changes for parents to control them easier and some changes overall for a vehicles right so looking into the uh, all of this front line is bug line uh, changes for um, kids and in the same time we have the technical characteristic uh, changes of the Chinese low tier shitter TL7 Lago and Swiper pretty much those tanks got added for a super test players if I understood uh, this correctly so changes Slash mm, testing. That's about it. Not much action, fellas. Okay, couple of patches to go, fellas. Uh, patch before uh, uh, before this was on August, right? After that, we have one October, and by the looks of it, World of Tanks did not add a December patch yet, but uh, that is all right. Anyways, update 1.18. 32 bit change that says absolutely nothing to me Italian tank destroyers I would say probably one of the worst patch in a while just because it's annoying tanks to play with and annoying tanks to play against in my humble opinion um destroyed tracks physics that was a nice one much making changes acolytes cannot play in platoon only one vehicle wheeled vehicle and limited artists that is okay some map changes and some changes to the um vehicle characteristics overall 42 vehicles digging deeper over there what do we have this is i don't know what that means to be fair with you so that means nothing to me after that we have the tank destroyer saka italians added to the game um I believe many people do not like this patch and uh, looking into all of this what we just went through uh 2022 was the weakest uh, in a while uh speaking about what war gaming has done and one of the shitter patch as well well apart adding six cents but probably we will see that um soon Anyways, vehicle destroy tracks. It is looking quite cool, but it is unnecessary. Much making changes. Pretty much uh, a limit no more than one wheeled vehicle per team. That is okay. From now on, uh, you cannot play um, with the light tanks in platoon, which is quite sad thing to be fair with you because I would love to play with some people in platoon with light tanks, but it is impossible. And after that, um, you can have pretty much two artists per team, or usually you will have it, and sometimes three if much making 
won't be able to do that. Topographic kind of useless, although for a new players maybe it's not that bad. Mood, mood uh, camp got changed or something um, improved there. Hip hip hooray after that. Map changes. Overall a lot of map changes but once again we are not going to go step by step through this. Uh, Tank Academy added to the World of Tanks YouTube channel by the Mr. Keyhand. And after that, we have some battle pass changes. And now look at this change overall. Speaking about the tanks, suit change, cover 1S change, Stuart, Sherman, T20, Pershing, T1 Heavy, M60, T29, T32, uh, M103. Pretty much a lot of a lot of buffs uh, for uh, Plenty of the vehicles and very, very well known AMAX buff. AMAX became meta tank and it is absolutely amazing. Well, it was for one patch where gaming reacted quite quickly to nerf it and it's still very powerful overall, right? So, pretty much a lot of changes in the patch speaking about the buffs, nerfs, and whatnot. And last but not least, fellas. Update 1.18, October 2022. And what do we have? We have Unslot. <sighs> well, quite a game mode. People were complaining about ranked, but people hate Unslot way more and you need to play five times more than ranked battles. Six cents as a free uh, thing. Okay, listen. 2022 can be described by one thing. Where gaming added outlines to the tanks and where gaming added free six cents for everything. That's it. Uh, other than that, uh, 2022 was extremely dry looking into the content compared to the 21, 21 or even 2020 speaking about those humongous changes which is hitting very, very hard. Personal reserve changes, I don't really think that was a bad thing and map changes. Digging deeper into all of this, what do we have? New Unslot mode, fine, six cents for everyone, that is absolutely amazing, that was one of the best things which we're gaming has done, personal reserves 2.0, not bad whatsoever, frontline, more likely bug line, tank, academy, um, okay, after that vehicles outlining improvement, good. We need to have it working properly. Boot camp, uh, some changes, stronghold, some changes, interface, some changes, global map and map changes. That's about it pretty much. And after that, we have object added to, for a super testers. We have it in the game already. We have Python added um, and T54, T54 here and Python. So pretty much Python we have uh, in the game already. Already Iron Army and T54 here we do not have it yet. After that, what we had, we had Mile added to the super testers. Pretty much the tank is okay. Most important nerf of the year. They nerfed the Mike 65T, congratulations for gaming, you did it. Um, after that, AMAX tier 9 got nerfed and AMAX tier 10 got nerfed as well and it's still powerful as F. After that, we have super test uh, added Bazatan. congratulations for gaming, you did it, absolutely amazing tier 8 and... Uh, Anyone who is meeting those tanks, it's definitely not destroyed. Uh, congratulations, that was a good job. You should get promoted, whoever is responsible for this. Excellent. After that was a Model 6. I don't really know this tank. Um, after that, this version with a... Uh, if I'm not mistaken, this is a list version with a super, uh, super duper mode just like CS63 got added and Lion added for the super testers. That's about it. Uh, those are the changes across the three years. Uh, I know it is it is something unusual, but I really wanted to go through this and just to share what changed in the game over the last years, right? And looking into all of this, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, 2020 was good for the game. A lot of things changes. 2022 was good for a game. 2022, I think, where gaming caused more harm than uh, use. What do I mean by saying this is uh, a lot of bad things happen. For example, Italian tank destroyers, the buzzer shit in the game nowadays just to sell more loot boxes. Uh, 
A lot of bad things happened as well. And just to highlight the good things, probably six cents is the best thing uh, out of everything, right? Uh, but we need to understand one thing. Speaking about the 2022, right? Um, where gaming had... Uh, very hard years themselves just because they lost pretty much half of their uh, manpower because of the current situation uh, um, in the Ukraine, right? Uh, they had two offices. They had one office in the Kiev and they had one office in the Minsk. Both of the offices are... So this is very important thing to say and all and all... Hopefully 2023 will be better than 2022 because so far this year was a bit disappointment. Correct me if I'm wrong, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. Anyways, thank you very much for watching. Once again, that was quite an unusual video. I am very, very well aware of that. I hope you enjoyed it and maybe we can uh, do this yearly and the end of the year we can just simply go through the patches what happened in the world of tanks for one day and just to take a look at this. And now... Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed yourself. Stay sexy and see you very, very soon. Skill is out for today. Peace.